This is an installation video of the Senna SRL2 Bluetooth communication system on the Shoei Neotec 2 helmet. I ended up with two different helmets that I swapped between. Both of them have Bluetooth communication systems installed. And in the Shoei I have the Senna SRL2 and in my array XD4 to X4 helmet, I have the Cardo Pactac Slim. The Cardo system has a way higher sound quality, but the ability to fully integrate the Bluetooth communication system into the helmet, like on the Shoei, that is just second to none. I wish every single helmet manufacturer on the market did the same thing. The best two features of the Neotech 2 helmet is the A, the ability to flip up the whole front and B, the ability to fully integrate the Bluetooth system. There are two different versions of the Senna SRL communication system. You have the SRL and the SRL2. The main difference is that the SRL2 have two different types of mics, a glue-on mic and a boom mic. One of the stickers inside of the helmet has the production date on it and if it says March 8, 2019 or later, it's compatible with both SRL and SRL2. If it's produced before, it's only compatible with the SRL communication system. In order to install the SRL communication system, you need to remove part of the interior. The first part is to remove the interior liner. And you do that by pulling the back of the liner towards the front and the front of the liner towards the rear and then it'll just pop out. The next parts are the two cheek pads, one per side and they also held in place by little snap buttons. So you just have to pull the cheek pads towards the center of the helmet and they will pop loose. The side of the cheek pads are held in place by two little pins. So just remove the front first, you can just pull it straight up. And then for the rear, you have to pull it a little bit forward and then you can slide it out. And then you just pull the chin strap through the little hole. And then you repeat the procedure on the other side for the other little cheek pad. The next step is to remove the three little plastic panels, the little placeholders for the Bluetooth system. In the little kit that came with the helmet that contained the instruction manual there's a little plastic tool and that's what you need to use in order to remove the little plastic panels you press the little plastic tool down onto the center or the bottom of the little placeholder And as you push your tool down, you use your thumb to press up on the rear part of the bottom of the panel. And once you get a little gap on the side, you use a little plastic tool, just pry it in between that little gap and twist it and the panel will pop straight off. And repeat the same procedure on the opposite side. The rear part is similar, you just push the little plastic tool down into the little part of the hole that is closest to the rear of the helmet. And as you're pushing down, you try to pry up on the side of the little panel and it should pop straight off. At the location of your ears, there are two little placeholders located and each placeholder is held in place by four little tabs. So you stick your nail under it and you just pry it loose, it's fairly easy. 
The first part of installing the communication system is to just place all the pieces into the center of the helmet as you hold on to the battery. The battery, that's the wedge shaped part. And just slide it in and as you slide it in, just lift up the little rubber seals in the back and on the sides and press down until you hear the little battery click in place. And just check that it's snapped in place by trying to lightly to pull it back out. The next two parts to install are the two triangle shaped pieces. One is the antenna, the other one is the control volume unit. Just slide each part along the visible track on the mounting piece until you hear it click in place. Align the four little tabs on the back of the speakers with the little cutouts in the helmet lining and just snap it into place. And just align the little speaker cable with the little cutout in the helmet liner and just press the little cable into place too. Tuck the little L-shaped bracket in between the liner and the helmet shell. There is one per side also. I prefer the boom microphone on the open helmet because the microphone is closer to the mouth and the boom microphone has a little slot already made for it. So you just align the little tabs with the tabs on the boom and you just press it in place. And then it's time to reinstall the liners of the helmet. Install the rear pin slot first on the cheek pads and then you just make sure it's fully seated all the way down into the little white plastic pin and you just push down the perforated little plastic pad until you hit the front pin slot and you just push it down into the stainless steel pin. You should be able to both hear and feel that the little two little pin slots are in place. Once both little slots are in place, just slide your fingers along the edge just to make sure that the whole little plastic pad is fully seated. After the edge of the cheek pads have been installed, make sure that you snap in place all the three buttons per side. The last part to install is the main liner. After you slid the whole liner into the helmet, fasten the two edges of the front attachment point first. And then slide your fingers along the little plastic tabs to push them in place. And then you can snap the two buttons in the back in place. The edge of the two cheek pads should have a clean look and just tuck the wires in as best as you can and you're all done. It is a fairly straightforward installation. Just be careful with the little wires because they are fairly easy to break. Good luck! Thanks for watching. Have a good safe ride. Please subscribe. More videos to follow.